All right. Hey, folks. Uh, this is Dan, and I hope everyone's having a really great GDC. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Um, however, uh, if you are at GDC, uh, you should totally come down to the Epic booth and check out our little demo station. Uh, you should probably find Ethan or Aaron around to show you things. So definitely check it out. Um, but I thought I'd make a couple of videos to just kind of show off some of the cool things we're hoping, hoping you'll check out. So um, the first thing I want to show you is uh, a couple of new features, actually. Uh, so one of the new features that Ethan has been working real uh, hard on has, has been the ability to record uh, submixes. So uh, for those unfamiliar with the idea, uh, submixes are basically a pre-render. So um, if you can imagine all these sources that you have in the game, uh, rendering them down into smaller groups before uh, the final render. And what's really great about that is sometimes you'll want to do, like uh, in a traditional co concept, sometimes you'll want to do uh, processing on your sources, but you'll want to do them in selective sources, so like not all of your sources. And you'll want to do it, uh, but it's maybe an expensive process, so you only want to do it once, right? So as an example, um, uh, Reverb uh, is a great example of this. So you might want to you know, say, hey, these, uh, I want to have a special reverb for these sources, um, but not all of the rest of the sources. And so these sources are going to actually go to a special submix, and then I'm going to have the uh, reverb applied on that submix once, uh, and then I'm going to output to the master and then output to the, the game and device and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> another uh, situation where you might use submix is where um, you have a processor that actually behaves differently uh, based on the fact that, that it's a render or mix down of multiple sources. So uh, a compressor, for example, w if you applied a, co a compressor with the same settings on individual sources, the outcome would be different if you applied it to a, a, a mix down of all of those sources first. So that's kind of the idea of submixes initially, um, but because they're an actual rendered stream of audio, uh, we can record it. We can capture that uh, that buffer and then do things with it. And so um, in this uh, uh, demo, I'm going to show you. Uh, we can capture a submix and uh, render it to a sound wave, which is really cool, um, at, which then becomes like any other game asset. Um, and then the other thing that I want to show here is uh, something that Aaron created, which was the audio capture component, which allows um, designers to tap into the mic input um, and actually render that out in, into the game space maybe to drive, initially to drive parameters, but here I'm actually rendering it, the output to a submix, so uh, then I can use that input. So let me uh, play this demo, and uh, like I said, you can check this exact project out uh, at our Epic booth, uh, so definitely do that, and you can kind of dig in and see how everything is done. But I just want to show you um, some cool things, how it works. So let me mute the uh, direct microphone All right, so now I'm recording uh, through the audio capture component inside of Unreal in real time. And um, I've taken my headphones off because uh, I didn't want to hear myself because <laughs> it gets disconcerting. Um, but when I press stop, it will actually uh, take that captured data and then uh, basically wrap it in a uh, sound wave. And so, as you can see here, so now, now you can see that we actually have a uh, sound wave asset that's actually a game asset, right? And what I've done is I have, in my project here, is I've retained a reference to that asset, and I've po I allow us to populate a, a list basically just an array of objects that store that, uh, that sound wave. And so we can continue to record. Um, so here's another one. 
And then another one. And so on. So here you can actually see the, uh, the actual rendered assets, which is re which is really really cool, I think. So, um, but uh, because it's it's just a sound wave uh, asset reference that we can use inside of our game, um, I can actually start using the sound wave uh, in in you know you know you could imagine like a game or a, or a, uh, some sort of software that users record in their expressions or there's custom things or oh, who knows what. There's just so many different ways you could use uh, an audio input and the ability to render that input and then reuse it inside the game. Um, in this case, I'm going to uh, bring it into a couple of our cool... They're not brand new, but um, but uh, we want to show them off because it's fun, right? So we have the sample wave player. So I'm going to put my headphones back on. And then another one. 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 No more than an Ednet. No more than an Ednet. No one. And then the one. And then the one. And then another one. And one, one. And 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 No worth on lead net. No worth on lead net. No worth on lead net. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the And then we'll check out the uh, granulator. All right, and then we'll check out the granulator.
So yeah, you can even um, take the uh, the sound wave and then serialize it out. It gets saved as like a user file or something like that. So you could have you know your your uh, players doing cool things and then recording them, and the output is then something that they can have. Um, or it could just be like a fun sound design tool. Like I don't know, like anything, right? Um, so yeah. And then look at these. I have these uh, Soundwave assets left over. If I want to save them and then commit them to source control, I could totally do that. So, um, so yeah. I I hope you'll check out the Epic booth. It's some cool stuff. There's this and more. Um, so, and you know, who wouldn't want to crack that open and see how that works, right? Come on, check it out. All right. See y'all later. <laughs>